Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add beads to a centerline star-shaped pendant. So I have an example here that I've done. Now this is the gold version, and I've just added some simple little white seed beads in there just to give it a nice little subtle color, and I used the gold thread. And as you can see, let me just show you sort of the back side here. You'll see that on the back, you can see a little bit of those thread bridges. So if you use the gold, and I also brought out here the silver Nymo thread, you can kind of allow that to disappear there. But if you want, you can use it as a little design element as I'm going to do here in my little example. So that's the gold version. I have a silver version here, and I'm gonna be using some nice bright purple seed beads so you can see, but I'm also going to be using some purple size D Nymo thread. So this is actually gonna work really well and it's gonna become part of the design there. But we do have the gold and the silver if you wanted to coordinate those colors so it disappears a little bit more. So I already have a couple feet here onto my big eye needle and these are great to work with. They just have that nice big eye so it makes it easy to string. Um, they're also a little bit more flexible of a needle as opposed to a regular bead weaving needle, let's say a size 12 or so. So this is just really good uh, because we're gonna be kind of scooping some of those beads out of there. All right, so I'm gonna be using that. And then the only other tool I have is I have some GS Hypo Cement and just a pair of scissors or snips to help me out with cutting my thread off at the end. All right, so these centerline pendants are designed to be worked with the Miyuki 110 Delica size. And in each of these little slots here, we're gonna be able to fit five seed beads. So to start, we're gonna actually pick one of our holes here and you can, you know, since it's circular, you can start wherever. But I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna actually take my needle and come up through the back of one of the center lines there. So I'm gonna leave a tail of about six inches or so. We're gonna tie that off in a moment. And then I'm just gonna pick up five of my Miyuki Delica seed beads. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the big hole there, the center line channel, if you will. And then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna go through this hole on the outside here. And now to sort of trap those beads in there, I'm gonna go across all those beads, pulling that through. And then I'm gonna sneak my needle and I'm gonna go down through the big channel portion again. I'm not going through that hole because I wanna get my thread to the back side. And then I'm gonna to come to the back and now I have these two threads. So this is a great opportunity to go ahead and tie off that first thread there. So I'm just gonna take my thread and I'm just gonna get a nice little knot right down there, right towards the center. And I'm just gonna tie that off one more time. There we go, so that should be nice and hidden for me. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of repeat what I just did, coming from the back to the front. I'm just kind of spin this around so it's sort of the same there. There we go, coming from the back to the front now. And again, just pulling that all the way up through, going across those beads, because this is by doing this twice, you're gonna get a little bit more of that stabilization, and you get to see a little bit more of the thread there as you're working. So this is where we just gotta work our needle through and sometimes it helps to kind of, you know, use your fingernail or whatever to push up the beads in case you can't get all the way across there. There we go. And pull that through. And then I'm gonna go down. So I'm not going through the center on this one. And now I'm gonna kind of flip it over so I can catch the back side of the beads there. Run my needle back through there. All the way back through. And this is where it starts to get a little bit tight, but this is all, this is good. All right, and since I need to be on the front side anyway, I'm just gonna kind of push my needle. So you can see I'm kind of flipping from the back to the front there. But the important thing to note is that you wanna be on your last pass there, you wanna be coming out the top so you can go down through that hole because on the back is where we're gonna create that thread bridge and go up through the next hole. So when you look at the back side now, you have that little tiny thread bridge. So we're gonna end up with a little sort of hexagon uh, th uh, thread bridge right back on the back there. All right, so now you just kind of repeat the same. So I'll do one more, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we go down through the center, up through the hole, across the front, down through the center, make 
making sure everything stays nice and tight. And we come up through that hole. All right, and then just the same, same type of movement. So we're gonna go across, we're gonna stay on top this time. We're gonna go down through the hole. And now we wanna go across, but this time we wanna try to stay on top. So I'm kinda taking my needle behind there. There we go, staying on top. Going through the center. and then up through the next hole. So you just repeat that all the way around. So I'm gonna do it all the way to, to the other side there and then I'm gonna quickly show you how to tie off your threads and tuck them in. Okay, so we're looking at the back side here. So I've come up through here. So you can see that I have those little thread bridges. Now, if you wanted to, you don't actually have to connect that last one. If you just wanna leave it, that's absolutely fine. I like the symmetry of it. So once you've gone through to the back on this last one here, we're just gonna do kind of a little cheat here. So we're gonna go through that very first hole as though we're adding in a brand new row just to complete that little thread bridge so we have that nice little shape on the back. I like it, but again, you don't have to do it. Um, all right, so now we're just gonna kinda, now this has a lot of thread in it, so just be gentle with your when you're trying to get your needle through here. So I'm just gonna try to go through and catch those beads. And there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak my needle to the back there. And this is where I'm gonna tie off my little knot. So now I'm on the back side one more time. And I have this little thread bridge here on the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda get my needle underneath there, just trying to catch a little bit of that thread. And there we go. Perfect. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull my thread through and I'm gonna leave a little loop. I'm gonna take my needle and go back through there and just tie off a little nice little knot there. Now you can do that twice if you need some more security, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as it is. Now I'm just gonna take my needle off of, sorry, take my thread off of this needle because I'm gonna use it for the other half here. So let me just open that up one more time. Come on, there we go. Do, do, do. Slip that on. All right, and now what I wanna do is I just wanna try to see again. Now this is the one that's gonna have the most amount of thread going through it, but I'm just gonna try to get my needle through actually only like maybe one or two beads here if it doesn't go through all of them. But what I'm trying to do is just tuck that thread in there. So let's see if I can kind of push it through. Mm -hmm. You know what, mine's not gonna go. But you know what, that's okay, because I already have that knot there. I was just trying to tuck it in. I think it's okay if it doesn't go, so I'm good with that. So I'm just gonna come in with my snips and come in nice and close and snip off my threads, just like so. And for a little added security, let's add a little drop of GS Hypo Cement to both of those little knots. So one of my knots was up here. I was trying to get them both on the right side, but that's okay. All right, so there you go, so that's it. I'll just close up my glue real fast. So that's what the pendant looks like. It's nice and easy, and this is actually a great use of seed beads if you're trying to just use up a few seed beads, because it only takes, for this one, it only takes 15, or sorry, 25. <laughs> um, so there you go. So that is super simple and really fun and delicate, and you can turn it into a pair of earrings or a necklace, as I've done here. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find all of these supplies and see even more videos by heading over to beataholic.com.